Hi, uh, welcome to the ca uh, custom countertop video. Uh, I'm going to show you something here. I'm not sure if anybody's ever noticed this or complained about this, but I, I thought this was a bug forever and a day, and it still hadn't been fixed. Bottom line is, here's a countertop right here. You, and I'm going to turn that into a custom countertop, okay? It's now a custom countertop. Notice that the ca custom countertop disappeared. And why did it disappear? That is because this fill that I have here is not a transparent fill. Once I turn that into a transparent fill, <coughs> the custom countertop appears. But in my mind, that's still a problem. Uh, delete this and uh, five, delete uh, this. And I'll show you why that's a problem. Because look what happened. Look what happened with this custom countertop. This custom countertop actually went behind to fill this floor. Notice this countertop here on this island is hidden by the countertop. But once it's turned into a custom countertop, this fill is shown. And I don't care if this fill, this, this crosshatch fill is transparent or not. In fact, if it's not transparent, it hides my entire, it hides the custom countertop. So if I make it transparent, it doesn't hide the countertop. But I still have the floor tile going underneath the countertop, and that's not good. Regular countertop, not a problem. In fact, if I come over here in a U and I make a make the countertop instead of a overhang one inch, make it make it a, a twelve inch overhang all the way around. You see that? It still hides that. It it still hides. Delete. It still hides the uh, the tiles, but if it's custom countertop, it doesn't. I'd like uh, CA to make sure that this fill for this room is on the back layer of the custom countertop, or put the custom countertop on the same layer as the regular countertop. Uh, that's the end.